it's Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another Vera Bradley haul. This one is entirely from eBay, which I normally don't go to, but lately I have been trying it out, and mostly successfully, although I know I'm paying too much for things. Um, not extraordinarily so, I'm very careful about that. But anyway, I did get a bunch of things and some stories to go along with them. So here goes. First of all, Potato Peach, this one's on you, and I thank you for it, it's not a bad thing, but I was watching your video recently where you had this adorable little puffy cosmetic, and I thought, well, I really like that pattern, and I think that's an interesting little piece that I've never had any of the puffy pieces. So I went and I found one, so yay. Um, and I actually got this nice pattern placement on it. It's kind of centered piece, I really like that. And it's not quite centered on the back, but you really get to see all the, the parts of the pattern. So that's cool, but this is a great cosmetic piece. It's a good size. It's um, different than the standard ones that we see now. And it's sort of this rectangular thing, but it's that puffy nylon material, it's super fun. The zipper pulls are like a, a faux patent leather on there with a stamped fair Bradley. So it's super fun, but new with tags on all these items, uh, pretty much, except one item that's in the wash. You don't know if you can see that one, but um, anyway, so super fun. And I'll put the prices and sellers info down below like always, but yay on that. And since I was in there, I did a little other shopping and found some other things I just had to have, uh, including a coin purse that is also in ink blue and again, great placement. So you got piece, and I love the older ones that have the trim patterns, the coordinating trim. And then on the back, that's like almost perfectly centered with the corners. So really, really happy with it. Um, that is one advantage to eBay is uh, the pictures are what they are, at least hopefully. And you get to pick your pattern placement of sorts. So that is one thing. You're not taking a chance with online come what may kind of thing, but anyway. So the inside of this is a patterned, cotton patterned interior with the interior of ink blue. So I don't have a lot of items in ink blue, but I do have blue items, you know, navy stuff and some other things that would go with. Plus, I ordered one more piece. Well, not one more, there's more, but um, this is a coin purse. This is actually called the Mediterranean Kiss Lock Coin Purse in Mediterranean Blue which I recently bought, you know, the cargo sling and a couple items. So I'm really excited about this piece because it's something I don't have style-wise and it'll fit nicely. But check this out. The colors coordinate very nicely with ink blue. So not that they're interchangeable, but you know, a mixy matchy kind of day, those would go nicely together in the same bag. So the ink blues can go to Mediterranean, Mediterranean goes ink blue. Yeah, so I only have one bag, it's like a Glenna in ink blue, but I have a cargo sling and a tote in Mediterranean blue. So super fun on those. And again, new with tags. And obviously that's older Vera because it has the green tags, but this is very robust metal on here. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of, kind of crazy, but inside is the um, mosaic, I think it's called for the Mediterranean blue. So awesome. And then, since I was on the puffy train, I happened to see another one that I put an offer in and it was accepted. So now I was locked in. I was like, whoops, I should put a lower offer, but it's all good. Um, I still pay too much because I don't, you know, I don't really need it. And I love it, so I bought it anyway. But anyway, <laughs> I didn't pay too much because of too much. Just I shouldn't be spending money. And this week, I gotta tell you, has been more insane than ever. But you're just gonna have to wait and see what comes of it because yeah, you're just gonna have to see. It's not all Vera, but yeah, it's gonna be fun and I think you'll like it. And this bag obviously is Heather. It's another puffy cosmetic, but it's a different style. It's sort of the clamshell style, which if you've been watching, I'm a huge fan of. And this is a, a nice size. So it's not as big as the big ones that I have and not as small as the small ones. So it's a nice middle of the road piece. And so I went ahead and bought it. And of course I love purple and I love Heather, so. Got some nice pieces of the pattern, you know. Yeah, fun, fun. So different colors on the front than on the back, which is also kind of cool. Inside is just a nylon, unquilted, but wipeable. So not the plasticized cosmetics or anything, but I don't use them for that kind of thing anyway. So these will be nice purse bags. Yeah, that's fun. So two puffy pieces adding to the diversity of my collection and had to reach back to do it, but that's fun too. 
Then, of course, being a big fan of Disney, I saw for a decent price a lanyard and a zip ID. And this is Plums Up, Mickey. So you have your, you know, purples and pinks. And I had to get that with the Mickey heads right in the middle and, and also the white Mickey head. So that's nice. And then on the inside, you have the rest of the pattern, but you know, it's just a snapshot. So I've got most of a Mickey there in the corner. He actually is, looks more cut off in the window than he is there. You can see his whole head. And on the inside as well, there are other, other Mickeys on there. So you can see like back here in the corner, there's a full Mickey. So that's fun. And I just love the Disney um, quick release things that are on here on the lanyards. So that was a nice pair. This is a little bit older one. So it had the a little dangle with VB on it as well. And I like that too. So that's kind of cool. Not that you need dangle dangle, but there you go. So zip ID and lanyard that goes together. I have nothing else in this pattern, but it doesn't matter because when I go to the park, I'll have a different one for every day. It'll be fun. It is quick release, but not very quick. But anyway, it works fine. Um, I do personally not like the quick release because, um, you know, I have a sensitive neck, I guess. But I zip tie it together so that I don't lose my stuff because I don't, you know, safety wise, it's not, I'm not wearing it in situations where that's a factor. So plums up Mickey to add to the zip ID because I needed another zip ID, right? Yeah. Um, okay. And the last item I got and here, we'll unbox this together. We'll unwrap it. This is kind of a fun story because, you know, again, I was looking at all sorts of novel things and just sort of going through and, you know, comparing the prices and conditions of things. And I try to go new with tags. I have nothing against used stuff. I just, that's where I get burned all the time is the pictures don't accurately show it. Like the other bag I got, and I'm gonna talk about it. It's a beautiful bag in Blue Rhapsody. I am happy with the bag, but it just has more wear on it than was depicted in the listing, in my opinion. Part of that was because the pictures just weren't that clear. So, you know, you take a chance. I don't necessarily think they were purposefully misleading, but nonetheless, it's more loved before it gets to me, well, I love my bags. I use them a lot. And so if it's already worn, it's worn more than any bag I have, which isn't saying much because my bags just, there's so many, they don't get used. I'm not bragging, that's just the reality. So if it has really any visible wear, it's more worn than my other bags. So it's not a horrible thing. Anyway, it's in the wash because it needs some scent boosting. All right, but this little piece back on track is, is a fun little it's leather actually and it's a stamped leather with this pattern on there it's a fishy coin purse unfortunately it doesn't have like a bag charm type thing that's fine i mean you could probably put a put a rivet in there and then put your own thing i don't need to do that it has a nice signature of vera bradley on the back this must have been some sort of promo item because there's a few of them online but anyway so it has this red red and blue and white striped zipper pull, which is sort of like a, like a woven, like a canvas type thing. And then inside, well, it has some padding and a, a desiccant in there, but it has this red fishy pattern. So you can kind of see the red, red and black fishies on the sort of, it's like a white background. Anyway, it's fun. And I do like to fly fish and that was my first reach back Vera that I ever got actually was lures black from fly fishing. So fish, anyway. I even thought about buying more for the guys that are the volunteers for our disabled veteran fly fishing group, but they're a little more expensive than that. I'm always giving them Vera stuff. It's hilarious that they love it. It's fish, anything with fish on it. But anyway, so the cool part about this isn't just, that, I mean, okay, it's a nice little piece and I will love it and use it and my friends are gonna be so jealous because they're all guys and this is something a guy could use. Um, but the mail came and the package, the name on the return address, I recognized the name. I thought, well, I know that person. Did not even realize, one, that they were on eBay at all, let alone that I had just bought something from them. And um, they recognized it as well. So they had sent a little card in there and a nice note. So shout out specifically to Jan for this one. Jan and I met at the Verb Bradley annual outlet sale two years ago. And unfortunately we didn't get to see each other this year, but next year we'll you know, make a rejoin, make that happen. I have since bought more things from her. So 
when that comes in the mail, you'll get to hear more about Miss Jan. She's just a lovely lady and sweet as I'll get out. So thanks, Jan, and thanks for the note as well. If you're interested in Jan's eBay store, Treasures on Hickory Hill, and you know, one of the great many, she has a lot of great stuff on there. And I think mostly pretty reasonable price, so that's great too. Anyway, so that's it for the haul part of it, but I do have two donations from um, some other folks. So I just wanted to share those for the CVS auction. The first is from Carnaby Gal, and it is a, oops, it was in a bag. So it's an all-in-one crossbody wristlet, you know, RFID in Petite Paisley. I always wanna say Romantic Paisley, but the lighten up version is Petite Paisley. So it's got the crossbody and the wristlet strap, crossbody straps in the front. And yeah, so it's an all-in-one standard. New with tags, thank you very much, Carnegie Gal. And then there's another lady named Cynthia, one of my avid watchers, and we've been corresponding in the background on email, which has been lovely. And turns out she had an extra night and day mask and I had an extra Java Blue, and we were able to do a swap, which was really cool, and I'm glad that worked out. So I did get the night and day mask, which is great. Actually, I really like it. And it has a different kind of elastic on it than my other ones. My other ones are just a straight sewing elastic. But this is like a nice softness to it. I wish they were all like this actually. I'm not sure it will be as durable, I have no idea. But I really like it. So thank you for the swap. And when she sent that, she also was super generous and also sent a donation for the auction. So we have here a front zip wristlet. I'm sorry, RFID, iconic RFID front zip wristlet in the gauge blue. So I'm gonna leave all this stuff on it because I'm gonna put it right back in the bag and put it on the shelf. But a lovely front zip wristlet which has the zipper on the front, this nice microfiber interior. Oh, these metal zippers. They just, yeah, this is why I don't like them. But that's okay. This one, maybe I'll work on it a little bit and pre-wax it or something. Yeah, okay, okay. But then it also has the inside, which is kind of like a built-in wallet. It has all these card slots and big slip. So it's a fun piece. I have several of them already. I don't have this color, but it's not for me. It's for the auction. So thank you very much, Cynthia, for your donation as well. And I will leave the information for the auction down below in case anyone hasn't seen that or is interested. Um, but thank you all so very much for your consideration. It's been a great project so far, and it goes all the way up until March 5th of 2021. So a lot of time to, to do the donating and get ready for the auction. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in a few minutes with some other videos coming right up. Bye for now. Washy washy.